it's round 10 of the 12 round WGCC championship this time we're at Barcelona we've already qualified it's a pro class that's now on track and they are yeah putting in some they seem to be sandwiching me and Adam Watson and Janko Adam Watson's my basically competitor for the Pro-Am lead is 90 points clear at the minute so we need to have a we need to have three really good rounds now and he needs to have a bit of a shocker so hopefully the Audi being a bit more tetchy gives me a bit of a reliability edge but we don't know we just don't know he's quick he's quick and he's consistent he's pretty much a, a clone of me but in a different car with uh, harder to handle back end on that Audi but it's faster generally speaking it is quicker especially in a straight line than the Ferrari so we are just going to see what we get here I'm expecting to be a little bit mobbed on lap one cold tyres are going to be hard to deal with so we're now just awaiting the pros to finish their times we're, we're due to grid in about three minutes essentially I'm just going to drag the window off screen for a sec just to make sure I've got my fuel in So, three minutes to grid, and if you were with me on Emola, you know that this this WGTC championship is is a bloody meat grinder. We're going to get battered. I can sense it it's in the air. Hi, Calvin. Thanks for your comments yesterday on the stream. I promise I'll figure something out to get the um, the chat visible to me mid-race. Make things a bit more interesting. With us is, or at least with us on the grid, we've got Josh in pole at the minute. Josh Thompson, Moreno Surica, Alex Arana, they are Williams Esports. In front of us we've got George McClay, Ross McVarlin and Michael Evdoka who are Pure Sims OBP and uh, McClay is TechSense Fitzdie Adam Watson Paceworks Esports and then me for M Signs Janko for Vulcan Sim Racing Car Moore for bloody hell can't remember that's where my, that's where my guess who stops It was a good race yesterday, John. I saw your avoidance of Matty Chambers. I bet you were waving your fist at him. How you avoided it, I don't know. But you did. Right, we're now waiting for the pros that are out on track to finish their laps. I don't expect anybody to really switch positions at this point, but we're going to see. This is now the second league race with a new rig seems to be making a big difference just the consistency it's just giving me the extra one two percent of um of being able to nail it a bit easier one minute remaining and then we're on the grid Putting my putting my phone on the floor so with my sim racing dashboard so I can see time remaining, fuel remaining, etc. Um, right, let's get on the grid. I will not be able to see your chat in 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 the middle of a race, I'm afraid. So um, I will catch up with you guys after this round. Thirty seconds. Oh, what's going on here? Huh? Hey up. Uh, you just disconnected and left then, or something? Yeah, I heard it go. Catch you guys after this round. Hopefully right. we're okay. Yeah, yeah, you're fine. That that other voice you can hear is Dean Powell, fellow M Signs uh, teammate. 
because of circumstances he hasn't been able to qualify That's the end basically of the he's, been, he's racked up just enough penalty points to, to earn a exclusion from qualifying so yeah, damn be you fuel again I'm putting 41 in because I expect to save a little bit in the first few laps and if if I get halfway through and Kuruti says it's tight then I'll just turn the map down but we know how that goes don't we yeah right I'm going for 42 play it safe turn your tyres and fuel off just in case just in case you have to serve a drive through for any, any reason whatsoever Right, here we go then, chaps are on the grid. We qualified eighth in the end. To be honest, not qualifying and still being in 34. 34th is not too bad actually. No, you can do something from there. If you get a 24 reverse grid, then you're laughing at you. I'm sure that you'll be able to make it that many places, but you'll have to do them on the exit because catching up with them on a straight won't be a, won't be a thing you can do. isn't that pink Audi that's Adam Watson pro-am competitor he's the guy I need he's the guy I need to get that points difference to basically climb back from this because I've had a, I've had an awful look awfully bad look in the previous rounds compared to him we need a good one so let's have a good one the track temp is 32 Celsius 20 minutes here goes The um, short out lap, isn't it? Yeah. Car number nine eighty nine in the left lane. Fingers crossed. The mission objective is just survive race one, get that reverse grid, just get it at all costs. Don't get punted. Here we go. Pace guy's going to pull in any second. Okay, Daniel. Nice and neat. Stay out of trouble. Green, right, we've green, got a green. good, good run. That's twenty minutes to go. Twenty minutes. I think that was a bit of a naughty squeeze there from Adam Watson, I'm not happy with that. Clear left. Just got our eyes peeled for any any loose cars. That one, cold tyres. Janko, don't be doing this to me. You know you're not faster. It's been proven. You're just hurting us both, man. Just hurting us both. Right, now we're going to be under attack from Janko, possibly. We need to keep an eye on that relative. So far, so good. The 
tyres are coming towards us, that's good. About that, that bloody cone, that cone really put me off then. The leader has just done a 141. Ah, it's not good. Zero. It's not good. We've got to run from Janko. Car left. Still there. Oh, I've taken some damage somehow. Hold your line. Wonky left side. Still there. Still there. He's still there. Hold your line. Hold your line. Clear left. Left side. Yes. Come on, Janko. Just still there. Just let it go. Still there. Let it go, man. Let it go. Still there. I think he's gonna have made still his way there. past. He's still there. Clear left. There was room. Didn't squeeze him, there was room, but we'll let race control sort it out. But if I do get protested and they uphold it, that'll be the first incident in this entire league, which is a blooming miracle. Consider any adventures we've had. Okay, Daniel, 15 minutes left. That's 15 minutes. This is okay. Keep those exit speeds doing. up. <laughs> Fastest lap for <laughs> Thompson, 141.00. Doing okay, Janko. Um, behind is increasing. It's now Janko was fighting me, and uh, I think his front end got nudged by me on the hairpin. He was running really wide. I'm driving a bit wonky at the moment. Probably about five Time degrees off. Mate. Keep it going. I had that in Im in race one, Emily, and it was fine. Just get adjust to it. Don't give up. There was a cone flying across the track and on the lap corner that put me well off. Okay, we've got a bit of breathing space, but that Adam Watson and um, Evdoka are flinging themselves up the road, and I'm picking up off tracks. That's going to cost me at some point. Gonna be under attack from the car more if we keep up with this. We need to get on it. We're missing that little bit of um, little bit of synergy in the car at the minute.
God, this is not feeling very good at the minute. The track feels like it's hot, 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 hot. We've had a cut warning. Keep it tidy. Please, Daniel. Left side. Still there. Still there. He's still there. He's still there. Hold your line. He's still there. Hold your line. Clear left. That's nah, not going to happen. Carl's going to position fair and square. And we've got Alex Nello behind in that All right. mighty Ford GT. We're not going to be able to defend against that. Still there. Still there. Still there. This ain't what we want. Hold your line. Clear right. Tenth position. Still there. He's still there. Hold your line. Right side's clear. Come on, man. Send it already. All right, Daniel. We're halfway through. Fuel's going to be tight. We're not sure you'll make it to the end. Ten minutes remaining. Ten minutes. Always going to dip a wheel on the sand. That might give us the chance we need. Fastest lap. That last lap was a 143.39. Hold your nerve, just keep it smooth. No mistakes. That's half fuel. You've used half your fuel. Well, at least we've got a bit of a gap to Ethan Bass behind. I mean, Adam, Wat Adam Watson's uh, running away with it in a minute. Okay, Daniel, keep piling on the pressure. He'll make a mistake. That's the fastest lap of the race. That lap time was 142.57.
Oh, we've got a good gap to Ethan Bass behind. If we can make spaces, then fine. But if I'm going to risk an incident, then I'm not interested. We have a reverse grid to think about. Playing the long game here. Come on, find a way around. We're losing time. E10. There's a bit of a wiggle there from Alex, but nothing I could capitalise on. Feels like the tyres are going off in that Ford. We'll be warned about track limits. That's five minutes to go, five minutes. Okay, Daniel, keep it nice and smooth. Come on, let the race come to us. Oh dear, why would he do that? What moron. There's enough of them around. Harold Stadler, he just oh, man. totally did me over. Like, I was probably on for a reverse grid as well if it was 24. Dear, oh dear, he's about a second back and he just... Come on, nail him already. The fact, that he's, the fact that he's already quit of... tells me that I no. think he agrees. I've managed to get in front of all like, the close rivals as well. Car ahead is Nella. I know it is Jim. Oh, I wasn't even racing, it was like a complete and um, put a home in this R. Tires don't look very good on that forward ahead. Still a couple of laps left. We might we might get something. Maybe. That's five minutes of fuel left. Also, one thing, he's not exactly slow, so it's not as if I'm losing bags of time behind him. Two minutes to go, two minutes.
track. Keep it nice and tidy. Right, last lap. I'm not expecting to make any moves here. He's got good pace. Very little fuel left. And unless he One makes a mistake, then not much that can be done here. Daniel, stay close. Wait for him to make a mistake. Tenth. Could be worse. Tenth position. Okay, it's over. I'm going to be honest here. My trouble was all started with that cone. You can make it up. You could not make it up. Why, oh why, I've never ever ever seen a cone flying across the track like that. Ever. And yet, the one race where I want a good bloody result, I've got an errant cone putting me well off. Where are you? 26. Ah, uh, yeah, I suppose. There was a cone, like on lap four or something, must have got wedged in somebody's like grill, and then it came loose and it was bouncing across the track on the last turn and it put me off and I got overtaken <laughs> by two cars, literally. Where did you come? Tenth in the end, Adam Watson's six, but I can't win really, he was just quicker. And Janko was really, really nipping at the heels, just wouldn't let me be. I mean, considering... That's really bad that was. Yeah, I'm not too, I'm not too disappointed with tenth, but it should have been better than that. But considering the catastrophe of last round, I'm, uh, I'll take that. Right, being the checkered flag lap, it's just a chance to calm and cool down. and reassess. The second round is going to be coming up in about 10 minutes time when the admins sort out a reverse grid. I don't know what the reverse grid is going to be. It's randomly chosen. But we're definitely in it. So that's a good thing for once. We're in the reverse grid for once. Watch your speed limit in the pits. Pit lane speed limit is 80 kilometers per hour. And they will have a quick a quick stroll around the blooming house for five minutes while we while we figure out what the heck happened there. Yeah, that cone deserves a drive through. For sure. Just ridiculous. I couldn't couldn't make it up. Let's have a look at that cone. Let's see if that cone appears on the replay. Um where are we? Come on. And my mouse is I need a better cordless mouse, I think. Right, so it doesn't happen then, it happens in um, on lap four. Or does it? It's hard to say. Where is that cone?
I reckon it's that lap. But do we actually see it? It's the lap where it all just goes wrong. Oh, he hit the grass and slid into me. Can't find a cone. But I swear, officer, there was a cone. And, um... No, it won't be saved in replay data, but we saw it on stream. The evidence is there. The evidence is there, but it happened. Right. Gonna have a quick interval while we wait for the second race to go on. In the meantime, I'll leave this cracking. And we'll see ya in 10 minutes. Or thereabouts. Hello again. We're just gonna sit tight for the second session. Sit tight for the second session. Um, what was the reverse grid in the end? Any ideas? 20, 22. 22, all oh, right, so I'm gonna get no benefit from the reverse grid either, pretty much. I've lost the lead this week, I reckon. Mm. You never know what will happen. But if it's 22, that means 22nd will be on pole, which means there will probably be a big crunch. There'll yeah, a big there's crunch a in there bun bunch of AMs. John Roberts, Matt Drake, Michael Blake, Tony Draper. They're all going to be up there. John Roberts is on pole, and he, well, going into this round, he was two points behind me. 
Right, yeah. Well, he's he's not going to stay there. It's all about whether or not, you know, something happens. Anyway, I need to um, I need to just state my position on the Janko uh, clubber because um, there was a coming together. I'm going to tell them all about the cone. Very little fuel left. 3.1 litres per lap. We estimate we're going to need to add 4 litres to reach the end. Fumes, mate. 3.1 litres per lap. It looks like we'll need to add 4 litres to get to the end. Crew Chief has certain codes bound to keyboards and that. Um, that's why when I'm typing he's telling me things that, I, that he thinks I need to know. But no, it's fine. Got to keep our ear out for a second session. A 22 reverse grid probably means that we're going to be starting in maybe 13th, 14th. So we're actually going to get um, less, less of an advantage on the grid than we should have done. Very little fuel left. 3.1 litres per lap. We'll need to add 4 litres to get to the end. We're running on fumes, mate. 3.1 litres per lap. We think we'll need to add 4 litres to get to the end of the race. Fumes, mate. 3.1 litres per lap. We'll need to add 4 litres to get to the end. Very little fuel left. 3.1 litres per lap. We will need to add 4 litres to get to the end. Deary me. Have a break, Jim. Have a break. We're running on fumes, mate. 3.1 litres per lap. It looks like we'll need to add 4 litres to reach the end. What's the verdict on the um, Janko one? Um, there was plenty of room on the inside. It's one of them. Yeah, there was loads of room on the inside, so it's just um, it had better be classed as a racing incident because um, I've had worse done to me that's just gone off scot free. Oh, he's responding. I'm not reading it. Okay, we're loading into second session. What's going to happen this blooming time, eh? Nearly dropped my cake. That would have been a, a fun thing to clear up right about now. Right. Fuel was pretty much bang on. I had 41 litres. I was driving a very poorly car. 
<laughs> all the way around. I can't like, ricochet between like Simon Underhead and someone else. Did Underhill go around? No. Oh, someone like someone hit into the side of me, and I kind of bounced into Simon, but we all stayed. Right, yeah. How long does it take for an espresso to work? Should kick in almost like instantly, caffeine. Oh, I might have, I might have peaked too early. Alright, let's get out on track and warm up. That, warm track, track. that, that track was really hot in round one, I find. Oh, you reckon? I thought it was alright. Yeah, this is hotter. Kilometers per hour. Oh, God. Okay. Your exit's clear. Don't cross the white line. It's important to go out and get, get a feel for how hot the track is. This should now be a noon track temp. Yeah, it's going to be warm, isn't it? All these people practicing in, uh, like, tepid tracks are going to be suffering. I wonder if some cars cope better with the hot track than others. I've heard the BMW doesn't like it. But that might be a load of rubbish. I just don't think I was on 100% form. The leader's just done a 141.30. I think out of the traps. So all I'm trying to do is like avoid a penalty next week because I only need one incident and it's back yeah. in the grid again for an Endura. Which doesn't really mean much. But at Le Mans, if you miss the back of like a, a draft train, you're going to be suffering. Yeah. The leader has just done a 140.90. That's going to be interesting. Second round grid is about to happen. Let's hope for a bit of a better fortune this time. I mean, look, the mission was to make a reverse grid and we made it. Right, let's hit this reverse grid this time. Or stay within the reverse grid. Yeah, you can do it. Mm, blimey. Oh, but it looks like we've it's put us 13th on the grid for the um, basically need round Robert two. and Draycott and Blake. Actually, I don't think Draycott's in it. I think it's Blake and Robert. So yeah, chomping at it. Need them to tangle. This is going to be a massive circular clobbering. 20 minutes, 13th place. Just a quick check. My bloody engine map was on free. Follow car number. I don't one. know why that keeps happening to me. Let's go. Well, we got we got a few spatulas ahead that could scoop people off and flip them off track. Dance, Janko, K 
Cameron dances on the top end of a grid and all, and he, he has a tendency to go absolutely steaming in. So if there's an accident, I'll try and call it. Fingers crossed, no incidents. Watch for the lights. Go, nail it. That's 20 minutes to go. On your right. Three wide, you're in the middle. Well, I don't want to be three oh, wide. I don't want to be three wide. What are you doing, man? God, this bloody flipping league. Right side's clear. Clear all round. Flipping league. People. Ooh, God, that could have been an unsafe rejoin, that. All right, Williams are... Right side. We're, we're between two Williams cars You're now, right. and I've learned from experience right. just... Hold your line. Car right. Still there. Still there. Right side's clear. Come on, Daniel. Just, just slot there. in Find behind them. And let them carve a path through. Because they will do it. And they might turn somebody around. Somebody's turned. We got oh we got people on back on track. Oh god. Flipping it. Car left. I tell ya. It's still there. Clear left. People are black and blue on down here. Still there. Clear left. Oh god. Clear Come on left. now, don't do it to me. Clear left. Left side. <laughs> still there. Clear left. <laughs> It is lap one after all, and we are all still on cold tyres. You kind of forget that, because it feels like we've already been going for about 20 minutes. <sighs> Come on. B17. More incidents. This could be a squeeze here. Car left, clear left. Car right. Hold your line. He's still there. He's still there. Clear right. Car right. Still there. He's still there. Clear right. Car right. Still there. He's still there. Still there. Hold your line. Clear right. Uh, Doka's got damage, so I'm just going to have to do him on a straight. The leader has just done it. 142.91. Got Janko behind me, so this is basically a replay of race one. 15th place, you've just done a 144.37, right side, still there, still there, clear right, or not, clear right, looks like a Doka's going to hold us both up and back me into Janko, I don't really want this, Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God.
There was a problem with it though, I don't know what happened to him. Something's gonna happen here. This is a accident brewing. Stay calm, keep it smooth. 15 minutes remaining, 15 minutes to go. Stay between the lines, please Daniel, V13. Putting Roberts. He's still there. Still there. Clear left. Roberts is gone. Couldn't hang it around the outside. I really wanted him to be a buffer between me and Janko, but now he's right behind me again. Make him do all the work. Focus on your Roberts exits. Roberts span out. This lap for Thompson, 141.48. V12, that lap was at 142.63. Okay, Daniel, the next Getting car is. of something four. right here. The track temperature is increasing, it's now 40 Celsius. This is not good what I'm seeing up ahead. Absolutely. How are we going to get through this then? You're reeling more in. The gap's now 0.22. On your right. It's still there. Right side's clear. Car right. Hold your line. Clear right. Oh, I needed that run on him. I've just had to break mid-corner to avoid hitting him. BMW is pulling away even in the tow.
left side. Clear left. OK, Daniel, 10 minutes to go. That's 10 minutes left. We're halfway home. Fuel is tight. You might need to save some fuel to get to the end. Car right. Still there. He's still there. Right side's clear. Jacko's right up behind us, but we, um, we might get a tow from the BMW, but I don't even think that's going to be enough. Left side. He's still there. Clear left. Moore's wide. I think he's punishing his tyres quite a bit, that's probably what the issue is there. OK Daniel, you've got half your fuel left. Keep him in your sights, force the mistake. There's a bigger gap to Janko behind there, at least. We don't have to worry about being uh, the under time attack. Was at 142.50. Good luck. That's your best in the session. Alright, Daniel, you've got 10 minutes of fuel remaining. Daniel, stay close, wait for him to make a mistake. Oh, mistake from Pete.
Five minutes to go, five minutes left. Keep digging, this isn't over yet. Car right. Hold your line. Still there. Still there. No, I'm getting pushed wide. Still there. Still there. You're still there. Hold your line. Still there. Come on. Let's have him. Clear right. Come on, we've got to keep this. We've worked too hard to give this one away. Good come pass. on, come nice on, front. come on. That was just too Good much front. work to give away now. Come on. Still there. Hold your line. Clear left. Come on! Yes! <laughs> We're free! We're free! We know we can pull a gap on him, but Nella's swap what's uh bit of Nella's swap places with him now. That means he's gonna be um he's gonna be pretty quick. Nella is not slow. But Christ! Right, let's get on it. We've got to nail every lap. That okay, two laps to go. Nerve, just keep it smooth. No mistakes. Two That's laps to go. It's going to be a miracle if we can catch up and catch Pete, but you know, it's the last lap. Crazy things happen. Pete's already made a mistake once, and that, that um, McLaren is an absolute handful. Just two minutes left, two minutes to go. Good on you, Ben. Thanks for not rejoining. That would have been the icing on the cake. Oh, we've got a second gap between us and Nella, so we were quicker than him. He also caught up with this train. Adam Watson's at the front of that pack, which is the only shame about this. He's going to come away with a lot of points from this. Unless he has a tangle on the last lap because he's setting up a side-by-side -side with... He's gone. He's been done. Who was that? George McClay. I saw a Tech Sense car and I assumed it was Cameron Dance because he's usually the guy that takes people out, but... He's getting a taste of what I've been having. Awful look. He's been fighting all the way through this race and to be took out like that is just meh. Nah. We'll have to see what happened to him after we've crossed the line. But for now we are on the last lap. And I can't. There may be a chance. 
and a late move. We've got enough of a, buff of a buffer to Alex Nella behind. A second is a long time in in um, GT3 terms. Okay, Daniel, we just cut the track. I'm thinking we follow Pete Harrod through. Push, push, push. We can get this guy. No, it's not to be. Ethan's got it covered. I could barely see the bloody trap then because of Ethan's big ass. Here we go. P8. That's P8. It. We're done. Eighth. Not bad, man. Where were you? 21st. Ooh. i got to say, one of the best overtakes I've ever, ever done was in that race. Good job. Pace good, yeah. Adam Watson got turned around or something. He got, um, he got busted off on the turn, turn three, long right hander. Oh God, don't hit me. He feels wronged by somebody. Does Adam Watson? And I'm sure he was. He finished 14th in the end, which basically means that he's going to lose points against me this time. But um, it's still going to be a long, a, a pretty big lead for him. We're running out of rounds to make that deficit up. And if the reverse grid is above 12, then he's going to be in front of me by, by some cars. All right, let's pull off over to the side. Try and figure out what happened to him. And look at that sweet-ass overtake again. Let's take a look. Hello again, screen. So we were stuck behind Carl Moore for so, so long. This is how it was done. That um, Janko is um, quite, quite fair, to be honest. I don't think he, he is fair, he's just really aggressive. Not that you would, because it was like a racing incident as well. Um, I'm not sure if you saw the um, guy that took me out. He um, put a wheel on the grass and kind of slid side, sideways. Into yeah, the, uh, I didn't go back and... Um, I didn't go back and um, look at it. Yeah, we basically did... The Ferrari is absolutely storming on the brakes, as you see in that overtake. Storming on the brakes, good in the corners, but you need a, such a you need such a margin to withstand any kind of attack on the straights. To me, that looked like a much more like resolute overtake than it looks from there. It looks like I only really just made it. Like at that point there, when I dove in, it's, it sort of felt like he was inches away. But oh well. I'm not going to pass it up. Let's see what happened to Adam Watson then, because he got uh, either he got done or he tried to make something stick and it wasn't happening. So what happened? Was it even on this lap? It wasn't. Position... No, it wasn't on that lap. I think it was on this one. Yeah. So there's George McClay in the Ferrari behind Adam Watson. Let's see what First happens. First grid's 12. That works really well. Is for it? Me. Yes! Yeah. That does work really well for me. I'm just watching what happened to Adam Watson now because he was side by side with George McClay for a while. 
and it looks to me uh, they just didn't leave each other enough room. Let's see, did Adam turn the wheel? Yeah, he, he moved over, expecting George to um, shuffle over as well. And he did, but not nearly fast enough. So he's kind of only got himself to blame there because when you're, when you're in that situation, if you know you've got the inside line and there's someone on the outside, you need to kind of wait for them to move away and then use that available space. So he, I think he just assumed that George would move over a lot more severely. But he didn't, and he got turned. He's going to be annoyed with that, especially as the reverse grid is 12. That means Adam Watson misses it. Maybe a little bit of red mist will come into pleasure. And if Adam Watson, if you if you ever come along and pop along these streams, you'll be you'll be amazed at how much of a com of a competition it is. Absolutely. Fumes mate, 3.2 litres per lap. We think we'll need to add 5 litres to get to the end. Very little fuel left, 3.2 litres per lap. We estimate we're going to need to add 5 litres to get to the end of the race. There's going to be 10 more minutes. Ten more minutes until the next round, the final round. I think if the um, reverse goes 12, that means that we are going to be lining up on the grid in fourth, I believe. We're running on fumes, mate. 3.2 litres per lap. We'll need to add five litres to get to the end. Per lap, we'll need to add five litres to get to the end. Right, gonna have a wander for five minutes and then come back and line up for race two, race three. Let's turn this into a belter. See you very, very shortly.
Hello. You're on for a good round, aren't you, if you have a good finish here? I really, really hope so. Well, I'll tell you, that, that uh, Carl Moore pass was something else. Or at least it felt like that from the cockpit. From the chopper view, it didn't really look like anything amazing. But it blooming was. I just need to stay squeaky clean. Yeah, you, you're missing out, aren't you? You're having, you're having basically my Imola around. I need a mouse mat to put this mouse It's funny on. how like uh, that guy sliding into me meant I missed the reverse grid. Tell me about it. Yeah. It's it. I'm not I'm not going to be doing this this again. It not, does seem a lot more chaotic, doesn't it? Not with the race format like this. I don't like it. It's too much. It depends too much on chaos. There's not enough time to really show your pace. So all that ends up happening is you just have, you know, you just roll with a dice every round. The Enduro is, it is isn't it? The Enduros are great. I loved the um, the Sebring Enduro. I've I loved, loved all the Enduros. Yeah. Even Daytona, Spa, and I went into that feeling horrible. Daytona was a bit pants, but that's because I got took out, like, early on. Oh, Daytona to, was for me, because I could probably won that. Yeah. But then... Adam Watson was second, so he would have been laughing. It's just, yeah, feel a bit hamstrung by the car choice, but we're too late now. We've got to stick it out till the end. Faithful. Yeah, it's difficult to overtake in the Ferrari, isn't it? Bloody impossible. Basically, I got past um, Carl Moore. Couldn't, couldn't gain on him in the straights at all, so even in the toe, I'm losing time. So there's no chance to get in the toe and pull alongside. Better on the brakes by quite a bit, but that's not enough. I find the really tight left hander is quite good. She can cut the corner onto the um, curb quite a lot. The really tight left hander, meaning the you know the one with a horrible yellow sausage on the right hand side. Yeah. Yeah, you can cut cut the curb quite a lot. No, no, no. I'm on about the one before that. The really slow left hander. You mean the hairpin? Is it? Yeah, it's practically a hairpin, isn't it? Yeah, it is a hairpin. <laughs> Maybe that's why I'm slow around there. I'm going to treating it like a corner. Do happen? Yeah, it's it's a happen. All right, get out on track. Let's see how. Let Pit you. lane speed limit is 80 kilometers per hour. Get down on the ground and lick the track. Traffic see behind. how warm it is. The leader's just done it. 141.00. All right, track's a bit more overcast now, so it might be faster, grippier. We might be able to take advantage of it because you. Who knows? I don't know what I'm talking about. I ain't got a clue. All I know is that lap one is really touchy. Oh, it's horrible back here. Every single race. Like, you're faster than the people in front of you. And you're kind of leaving the door open for the person behind you. It's chaos, really. Being out of position is the worst thing going. So, 21st is probably where I'd about qualify, wouldn't it? Maybe a bit less, actually. You know what's weird? My engine map keeps on trying to um, hamstring me. I literally set it to 3 in the middle of race 1, and now it assumes that that's how I want it every race. So, on the grid for race 2, I saw it and corrected it just before the lights went out.
Okay, race free. The track temperature is decreasing. It's now 26 Celsius. Race free, and we are on the grid with. Who are we with? McCaffrey, Danko, Moore, Nella. Nah, they're going to be really, really hard to overtake. I think a win is going to be out, out of our reach. But maybe they're going to have a bit of a tussle. Maybe. George McClay behind us. We know he's quick. The three Williamses. I oh, know, Alex Arana's all laying down in 22nd. But, as per usual, there's going to be a massive squeeze at like lap 2, 3, and it's going to be chaos. All we've got to do is survive. And that's why I'm not doing another season minutes. of this crap. The air temp is 20 Celsius. Follow car number 6. Give me an enduro series any day above this. Oh god. Yep. I've just come off. <laughs> I hope that was on broadcast. Right, engine map is correct. Ready to go. Oh my dear. Lord, what was I doing? Okay, Daniel, get ready. Right, we've got to jump on the Audi. All right. Now let's watch well, it creep up alongside it. The barrier on the hairpin. Good luck, by the way. Good luck. Left side. Still there. He's still there. Clear left. Left side. Hold your line. Still there. Still there. And I've just been taken off. Still there. Still there. He's still there. He's still there. Oh, we're gonna get rough. We're gonna get mugged here, aren't we? Still there. He's still there. Clear left. Good. Come on, Pete. Think better of it. Car left. Uh, Williams is snuck on the inside. Truth be told, I just want to right. um, keep the inside line for this. Car left. Go on, Williams, do your thing. <laughs> What's going on here, man? Are you telling me we're in a WDCC round and it's chaos? Shock. On the brace. On your left, clear left. Clear left. Oh, bloody hell! We saw it, we dodged it. In a minute, Ethan Bass is going to come out of this the best of the best the of the lot. It's now 34 Celsius. <laughs> Le 
left side. Clear left. Car left. Clear left. Cameron dance. We all know what that means. It means prepare yourself because you're about to get punted. Oh no, Ethan, 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 come on. That wasn't very sporting at all. The leader's just done it, 142.04. P11, you've just done it, 144.82. Sector 1 is 1.8 seconds, off the base. Car left. Hold your line. He's still there. He's still there. He's still there. Clear They're left. playing. I don't know how the hell they're actually hanging it outside there. So good. Beats me. God, tell you, pe people just don't give you any bloody no space at all. They got a lot of trust in their fellow racers, and that's a bloody. Come on! We've just had a warning for cutting the track. Just had Cameron Dance lose it in front of me, and um, screw me up. Temperature's decreasing, it's now 32 Celsius. Okay, Daniel, 15 minutes left, that's 15 minutes. You got damage. No, I ain't got damage, I dodged him, but um, I got booked and wronged all over the place. Car in front is Robert. This is the ridiculous. Leader has just done it, 141.60. Nella is now in the lead. The answer, Watson, behind is now 1.2 seconds. Come on, no more mistakes. Concentrate. B24. The guy behind has just done a 141.45. The left side. Following you through. Still there. Clear left. On your left. Clear left. I think I'm carrying a fair bit of damage. It's fine. Oh, 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 oh. Sorry, it's clear. I was worried that he was going to be skating across the grass on the inside then. I'll let you through on. After the uphill right. Not this one, next one. The next car is Powell. Inside. Oh, you got the inside, inside, inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Car right. Right side's clear. Right, main rival Adam Watson is behind. B21, your last lap time was at 143.08. Sector 1 is 1.2 seconds off the pace. Come on, don't make it easy for him. Make him go the long way around.
right, Daniel. The next car is Draper. The track temperature is decreasing. It's now 29 Celsius. Please, Daniel. Says there was contact, but I kept my line. There was room. Come on, let's put this hard work to good use. You got ten minutes left. Ten minutes to go. We're halfway through. You looks tight. You might make it to the end. If you do a send like that, you're pretty much flipping the coin. And it didn't come off well for him. There we go. Force a mistake. Car right. Still there. Still there. Clear right. The guy ahead is Draper. Left side. Hold your line. Still there. Still there. Still there. Clear left. We got him. We got him. We needed that. <laughs> See, Ferrari versus Ferrari fights work out exactly the way you think they would. P19. Right, there's a gap, but I know I can go deep on the brakes than Tony, so. Yeah, there we go. We covered it off, and now we can right, uh, build a gap. Let this guy distract you. Mm, it's quite close. I don't want him to have a lunge.
track temperatures rising. It's now 32 Celsius. Sector 1 is 0.14 off the pace. Sector 2 is 0.5 off the pace. Sector 3 is 0.43 off the pace. Sort of feels like I'm finally in the zone, like I'm actually um, just driving like I normally would. I've been a bit scrappy up until now, other okay, than the overtakes. Five minutes to go, five minutes left. Qualifying pace now, come on, you can salvage something here. Yes. Qualifying pace. Maybe there's something to be had. Five minutes left. Chomped a bit Stuart of sand. Warners about track limits. Keep it between the lines. The track temperature is rising. It's now 34 Celsius. Track's quite hot in a minute. Are uh, you rolling? Oh, I can see you. Okay, Daniel, I'm not too far behind. Minutes, you're remaining five minutes. Oh, I've dented my car even before the race started. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe that. Ah, well, no mind. I saw you in arm. Off the pace. This is a shame, this should have been a 10th or some, not a 19th. That's two minutes left, two minutes.
very little fuel left. One more lap to go. Sector two is 0.38 off the pace. Final lap. Come on, Ethan, do a send on Gav Baker. Come on, do a send. Make sure it's sent by Hermes. Because then it won't come off. Come on, come on, come on. You telepathically tell him. Ethan and Simon, uh, Ethan and Gav to come together. Nah, it's not going to happen. Or will it? So we're going to come across the line in 19th then. I mean, it could have been worse. We dodged a few shockers out there. That's the end of the race. Bad luck, mate. Yeah, it is bad luck. That is bad luck. Yeah, we got bullied down to 10th, but that's where it should have stopped. The car was coming in to 10th. Everything was on its way to speed up at the end. And it just wasn't happening. So we're going to have to settle for a 10th, an 8th and a 19th. Meanwhile, Ethan Bass and Adam Watson are pretty much just uh, finishing up or below just by a couple of places. That's not doing as much good. That means the championship standings are going to be pretty much the same as they were. So, going to park up. Going to look back at that Adam Watson incident because we came together didn't feel anything in my end but I know what happened it was the same thing that happened with Janko when the front end of their car meets the side of my car then yeah just not as good as it could be not as good as it could be there's an enduro race next week Le Mans 105 minutes of Le Mans Strangely enough, a Ferrari might actually do quite well there. So it must have been on lap five then. Lap five. Let's see what happened from his point of view. So he's into the crazy corner sends it goes in the middle runs wide to be fair he could he could just as easily have had me off then yeah he'd, he'd lost when he's riding that curb there's negative camber there's downforce loss from the floor of the car, all sorts. So he kind of just moved over. Yeah, at the time of contact, I was moving across from him. I wasn't tightening up the line. So he, it's just unlucky. He's so quick and he deserves. If he won the Pro Am, he would deserve it. But he's basically having. A slice of bad luck, and this <laughs> that incident that we had on like lap four. Yeah, <laughs> I think is I was losing it. I think I like slightly dipped the dipped the wheel. What were you doing then? Um, I just like went off a bit too wide. I think I kind of followed them, and I scooted across in front of you. Was that the start of the lap or like the middle of what? Oh, it's um, lap four through the 
Yeah, the first hair. No, yeah, the first hair. Yeah, yeah. All right. It's on the exit of that. Look at that squadron of car. So it's as you It's when we're kind of racing together. Scott, I get my setup yeah, from three pure driving school. rounds, I think. But I don't think I did too badly. I think I kind of collected decent-ish points. It's not really a drop round. Yeah, you did okay, I think. I get my setups from pure driving school. I consistently poor, which isn't too bad. It's better than having one really good one and two DNFs. Yeah, my setups are from PDS, pure driving school. It's ten a month. Pure Driving School is definitely the best setup shop, in my opinion, in terms of outright pace. PDS setups are a bit knife edge though; they are not the easiest to drive, but once you get once you get tuned into them, they're great. VRS setups are safer but slightly slower, and the lap time comparison tool is brilliant. So, we're going to head into interview. We might be picked. But most of all, I've got to end the stream because there could be some colourful language and you know that YouTube doesn't like that. So I'll have to leave you here. Appreciate you riding along. I'll, I'll have something ready for next week to view the chat so it's not as boring for viewers because, you know... I don't know how I kind of carried on the race after the incident. Um, pure hatred. Well, we're going to leave it there. Chaos. Thanks Good for riding along. I don't think I had anything Shush that was my problem, so. We're going to leave it there. Should be able to qualify for Le Mans. We're going to leave it there. See you on next Sunday for the last Apex Racing League race. Monday for the penultimate round of, of uh, WGTC, which is what we were racing tonight. It's 105 minutes at Le Mans. An enduro, not like a reverse grid, triple header like this one. I hate it. I'm not doing another season of WGTC. Apex Racing League is a is a double-headed reverse split, but that's different. You know, there's there's time to recover in the second round, which you just don't get here. So, yeah, yeah. Scott says switch over to the WGTC broadcast, um, which is very well done too. So if you want to hear what people have got to say about their races, it's all there. If you want to watch the full race back from the broadcaster's point of view, it's also there. 